Hello friends, how are we all today? I will start off by addressing the elephant in the room. I am in my pajamas. I do not have rings on. You can see my rings are in my little bowl over here. We're taking it easy today. It is raining outside. I still don't feel well. What's new? But we have still made it to bonus stuffing for October week two. So be proud of me because I'm proud of me. <laughs> so I have, as always with these videos, I have some money to go into the 100 envelope challenge. Are we knocking out another row? I think we might be. I will grab my money, we can give it a count and see if we can get another row done today. All right. So down the back we go. It's another week of exact change, so we're not doing any rounding up again. Got a good bit of change actually. Whoop. So in change we have two, four, six, eight, ten euro in change. And in notes we have 51. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 220. 230, 240, 250, and 255. That is Jesus. Oh my god, I can't, I don't actually think I've ever seen one that bad. And I don't know if I did the tape or if somebody else did the tape, but like it looks like it's been folded. Like this is the way it wants to fold right now. If I fold it along the lines. Do people carry cash like that? Oh wow. Anyway, shall be given a nice hotel stay in an envelope with a wax seal door. You'll be fine. So we have 265 today and the envelopes that we will be stuffing is 83, 82, 81 and 14. So let's see if that's a new row. This is annoying me so much. There's this binder is so chunky with challenges that these won't move around anymore. They do in the back though. Okay. Right. So, oh no, it's not going to be another row today, but it's nearly another row. So we're doing 83, 82, 81, and 14. So next week, I think we're going to be knocking out this row again, which means we're three rows down, which is amazing. And then we can start working on, on this. So because the side hustle normally slows down coming up to Christmas, um, December and January tend to be dead. I'm trying to knock out the big ones while the side hustle is still going strong. So that when we get into December, January, if we're still doing this, fingers crossed, we might be able to get it done before Christmas. That would be amazing. But I don't mind if it goes afterwards. But hopefully we could keep it going because I'll be able to stuff smaller amounts. So that's the plan. Oh, you might have seen that my um, candle gave up on me, my little blue one. So it's not just the purple though. That wasn't intentional. I'm thinking about changing my setup a little bit. I really like the brown background, but I have this thing and it happens in every aspect of my life that I look at like the aesthetic girlies and the like, what do you call them? What is it when monochromatic? Is that when all the colors match or is that just when it's black and white? I don't even know. But I, I look at those girlies and I'm like, oh my God, I love that. Everything's so matchy matchy. It's so nice. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm unfortunately very far from that. I just like color and I like all the colors. And I like to mash all the colors together. But then after a while, I get bored of all the colors mash mashed together and I want matchy matchy but I think I would love to do like a mint green and gold theme because I've got a bit of everything over here I've got mint green and gold I've got a purple candle right now this is clear brown background I think that's did somebody tell me that she's alabaster that time I dropped her on my finger I think somebody said she's alabaster and I believe that might be what the color is referred to as well and um, then there's this little 
cup and it's got green and then this is also kind of like a creamy beige and yeah and then I've got lots of colorful challenges which I'm never going to change so that's that's not happening don't even ask but yeah I was thinking what could I do to spice it up a little bit it could be better right and speaking of colors then I was also thinking about getting some new wax melts in a more we could do like color themed weeks you know what I mean so I could pull out a tray but it, this this is very mixed there's lots of different colors in here but I could do one that's like lots of different shades of pink for Valentine's Day and stuff like that that was a thought but before that and more importantly I think next week or the week after we might go for a Halloween character theme this is completely coming from Lucy Luxor's video so she posted a video of in the last few days and I saw her pop back up and I was so excited to watch and she has new envelopes that are actually I'm not going to give it away because she says in the video to leave it there so if you know you know but it is a character that could be classified as Halloween and it's a movie I really really love and that gave me the idea that we could do character colors for a week of envelopes and yeah celebrate Halloween I think that could be very fun so I've got two requests this week and then two, I've got four envelopes. So I'm going to pick out two combos as well. So the first request is coming from the Wiggy Practitioner and they're looking for purple and pink. So do, 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 I think it's this purple. And then I don't, have we done this pink with that purple? I'm not sure we have. So we shall do that. As I said before, my memory is absolutely horrific. So if there is repetition that annoys you, very sorry, doesn't annoy me because I can't remember. Next one is coming from Bakugo the Dark Soul Wolves and this request actually has three colours which I have not done in a while and that's going to be a lot of wax but I'm here for it because let's live vicariously. So you are looking at black, get a black, purple, and red. I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Very, very. That's that's super Halloween-y too, isn't it? Love it. Okay, so my ones today, I'll see if I can, is there anything that I think we have not done before? Will we try a lemon and lime situation? Those are very similar in color, but I want to give it a go. Lemon and lime. And then how about a mint chocolate? Don't come for me for the fact that all my inspiration comes from food. I'm a Taurus, okay? So, mint chocolate? Anyone? I think we'll go with that. Okay, thank you guys so much for your recommendations. If you're going to leave me recommendations this week, try think of Halloween characters for me. I've got a few ideas myself, but I would love if we could do a Halloween character theme for next week or the week after, whenever we, whenever we manage to get to it. So we'll move, oh, my mint is trying to escape from my chocolate. Lemon and lime, like seven up. We've got a Halloween-y one. And a good old pink and purple. Let's get stuffing.
that's everything guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy the rest of your week or weekend whenever you're watching this and i will see you soon bye